In the capital of Kiev, the war is always hanging over your head, a little bit like the Sword of Damocles. You can just be going about your day or sleeping peacefully in your bed, and in one second it can all be over, just like the lives of the family that used to live in the building behind me. That's why many locals have decided to devote their spare time to supporting the guys fighting in the trenches. And today we want to visit some of them and show you what Ukrainians do from the comfort of their home to support their army. In apartments like these, civilians like Eugene Zingerman establish so-called drone kitchens, turning their homes into makeshift workshops where they assemble first-person view or FPV drones that the Ukrainian army is desperately relying on to thwart the Russian invasion. Hi, my name is Eugene. Uh, I'm a small business owner and a marketer. I own uh, like a children's bookshop and an advertising agency. We are a company of very old friends and one of our friends, he's uh, just from the start of war, he's serving. He offered us, uh, if you want, I can teach you how to assemble drones and you can help uh, the army uh, by assembling them and uh, donating them. Actually, all of us said yes, and uh, we bought uh, a few drones, a few uh, like um, kits for drones uh, for our own money. That's how we uh, it all started and uh, still going. The frame, as most parts, comes from China. After assembling the basic structure, the difficult part begins. After the motors, you assemble this uh, flight controller. After that, you connect its second part, connect it together. And on this second part, you already put a video receiver called VTX. Also, we will show you this uh, ant antennas, uh, video uh, receiver antenna connects to VTX. Uh, signal receiver antenna for controls mm -hmm. uh, connects to flight controller. And camera, also connects to this and uh, power. Uh, yeah and power for sure but not all parts can be found on the internet luckily for the gang their friend sergi a game designer owns a 3d printer so uh, this is my 3d printer and with this stuff i print uh, various things like uh, parts for drones that we can use like holders for antennas and uh, well it helps since there are many kinds of drones they require custom parts fitted for each specific model. After assembly, it's time to get real. First, they test the battery. If all systems are operational, they plug it into the computer for a final configuration. This is a better flight. That's uh, the soft to calibrate to put firmware onto the drone, into the drone. So you see that accelerometer is working. That's a good sign already. And now we will try to test the motors. Moment of truth. Yeah, yeah. So all the engines work perfectly fine. It takes the guys around four hours to assemble one drone. The total cost is 10,000 grivnas, around 270 US dollars. Of course, the soldiers will have to attach an explosive charge, like an RPG-7 grenade, which can cost up to 500 USD. FPV drones are one-time use, but if used correctly, you can get value for your money, since any armored vehicle, any artillery gun, and any soldier is worth a lot more. That's why Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced plans to produce 1 million FPV drones for the Ukrainian armed forces in the coming year. That equals a monthly production rate of just over 83,000. But Eugene and his friends are up to the challenge. After President Zelensky said in his speech that uh, every Ukrainian can help uh, and assemble such drones, lots of people started to do like this. Maybe uh, uh, someone like assemble uh, like two, three drones. Uh, some groups like ours assemble much more. We all understand that we're doing something important. Uh, we're not spending this uh, this time, I know, assembling Legos or <laughs> or play, yeah, or drinking or playing some video games. Yeah, we're doing something important. We understand that it's uh, great that we can socialize together, as you said, and uh, also do this uh, like important work.